Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get a flawless doll-like looking skin. Usually when we apply foundation we want to hide our pore, our dark circles, any dark spot and because of that we make our face look like cakey. So today I'm going to show you how to avoid cakey look and have a flawless look. So if you want to learn how I created this look stay tuned. Hey guys, so before applying your makeup, make sure you wash your face, exfoliate your face, also moisturize your face. So right now I have already moisturized my face and I just want to show you what product I use. I use the Nivea moisturizing cream. You can use any cream which is suitable for your skin and then start applying your makeup. After applying the moisturizer, I'm gonna prime my face and I am using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So the primer is very important part of the makeup. I'm gonna dab in my skin this primer. And primer is important part of your makeup because it gives a smooth layer to your skin and the foundation will stick so easily on your face. So primer is very important. Also, it helps your makeup to last longer. Make sure you put the primer first before applying your foundation. All right, my primer is done. Now I am gonna put my foundation. And for today's look, I'm gonna use the NARS foundation. And I have also, in my previous videos, I have shown you how to apply makeup through brush. But today I'm going to show you how you can apply your makeup with a beauty blender also to get a flawless and beautiful skin. So I'm going to take the beauty blender. Make sure you use a damp sponge. So what a damp sponge will do is like it won't take all the foundation. It will take what all foundation is necessary so it will give you a flawless look so just wet slightly and use a damp sponge so i'm gonna take this foundation in my hand and i'm gonna take the damp sponge and grab a little bit and then apply on my face Always try to use very light hand and very lightly touch to your skin so that it won't give you like it won't put it won't add a lot of foundation on your face it will give a smooth flawless looking skin. And then later on you can apply more if you need more coverage but start with a very light layer so we have applied the first layer and what I like about the damp sponge is like since it's little wet it won't take a lot of foundation so it gives you a very clean look very flawless look so now you want to add more coverage you can add a little more so you learned how we did it's like we did very thin layer layer to layer so which will give a clean look if you put a lot of foundation initially it will give you a cakey look to get more flawless look you have to put very light foundation and then you build up so now we start with our second layer of the foundation and we'll put more where we need more coverage in your on your face 
make sure you apply the foundation on your neck because sometimes it happens it always happens with me sometimes i'm so i'm in a rush and i just put foundation on my face and later i realize my neck and my face look so different so don't forget to apply on your neck too now the foundation is done and now i'm going to apply the concealer And the concealer, I'm gonna start with the inner corner of my eyes, which I have the darkest area, that's my under eyes. And I'm gonna put right next here. And this way. Same, I'll go with this. A little bit here. My Cupid bows and on my nose. And then I'm again using the damp sponge and gonna blend it. So our concealer and foundations are on and now the most important step is like to set your face, to set your foundation and concealer so that it doesn't move and it doesn't crease your face. So for setting the under eyes, I am gonna use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and then I'm gonna take a little bit of powder put on the cap and look into the heavens and just set my under eyes it's very important to set your under eyes because you have seen a lot of times you put foundation or concealer and then on your bottom of your eyes it crease you want to avoid that by locking your concealer so that it doesn't move from its place now to set my face i am gonna use mac mineralized powder and then take a little bit and then set my whole face and i'm gonna set by dabbing so that it locks the foundation and concealer and it's gonna be a long last So now I have set my face, I've done the foundation, concealer and now I'm going to do rest of my face, my eyes, my lips and I'll be right back. So now I have done my eyes and lips and to finish this look, I'm going to set my face with the Fix Plus. This, what it helps, it will remove all the cakiness from the face and it will give you a flawless finish. So let's apply the fix plus so i hope you like this video and if you like don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also hit the notification bell so you will be the first one to get my updates also comment below to let me know if you found this video helpful also if you want to give me some suggestion or you want me to review some products let me know before i leave i want to let you guys know you guys are awesome and beautiful and i love you thank you so much for watching see you in the next video